get uh, the U2G Recon Flex Bipod. Uh, this one is the m version. I was looking for something that will bring my uh, my bore, my uh, bipod up to about my bore height. And uh, I found this m one off of Optics Planet, about $35. Really good price for what you're getting. Uh, this is aircraft grade aluminum. It's a five positional uh, bipod leg. All you have to do is pull down on the collar and it will give you five different positions. Very stable. Uh, it's holding up great. I, I just took it with me on the hunt today. I'm on my lunch break right now. And then I'm going to head back out there. But uh, over the past few days it's been holding up great. Like I said, on the four wheeler, banging off trees. Uh, no, no hard scratches or dents or dings or bends or anything like that. Uh, it's hard coat anodized. Like I said, five five positions. I think this would be more suited better for like an AR-15, since you can't get a uh, you can't get your can out of it like you would say out of a traditional uh, Harris bipod, where you can get your uh, left to right pan. You can't do that with this, though you could adjust one leg down you know slightly to a side if, you, if you're on a uh, uneven ground and get your level that way it has a twist lock just like a Harris so if you're in position of one of the locks you could still lock it in place but uh, it's been working great pushing the button to push it up and uh, when you need to extend it just pull straight down and it locks in there you could see on the teeth back here where it locks uh, nice and slick, lightweight, and like I said, it brings that very stable uh, platform. Instead of having your uh, center mass down here, it brings it up to put your bore height, so it's very stable. Only problem is you can't really can't with it quickly. So if, if anything, that would be the one downside, but at the price range, $35. Uh, it's, I'm, it's hard to find anything that will beat that at that price range right now. Uh, very durable. Like I said, this would probably be better suited on like a DMR AR-15 style setup uh, for longer ranges. I would still stick with something like a Harris. But uh, like I said, taking out hunting, it's been working excellent. Nice and lightweight and uh, very sleek. And even on my AR-15 with all the crap that I got on it now with the light and uh, pressure pad mount. And uh, stuff like that, uh, vertical foregrip. Uh, I, I can still position it out of the way so I can get a hold on it. Now, when I go take it out hunting, I usually face it forward and it's out of the way. And then I can just quickly grab on that collar and bring it down if I need to. But like I said, it's great for hunting. Definitely lighter than. Just want to give you a quick look of uh, how the setup is on an AR style rifle. Uh, like I said, they fold up out of the way nice and slim and easy and you don't have a uh, big bipod to worry about hanging down there. Uh, when you position it backwards or forwards it gives you plenty of room. Uh, especially if all that rifle is for is long range. Uh, that way you can get a, get rid of all this stuff here and uh, mount it as far forward as you can. And then either put the legs all the way forward by the muzzle or bring it back. You still have plenty of room for your hand. But nice and slim. Uh, it's perfect for a setup like this. Uh, you could also adjust it back at like a 45 degree angle there. Uh, like I said, aircraft grade aluminum. It's been holding up pretty good so far. Uh, YFS screws. Uh, a little bit soft, but not bad. I uh, wouldn't recommend taking this on and off all the time because you could start to strip the screws after a while But they should hold up. I'd say a good couple years as long as you're not getting too crazy with them uh, as far as durability goes uh, Like I said in the previous video uh, banging them, you know taking them for uh, I have to kind of strap my rifle across my my lap as I'm driving and it's banging off Trees and sticks trying to get through the woods and it's holding up. No problem no sign of uh, use or abuse or wear anywhere so so far it's a thumbs up on that if you're looking for a fairly priced M-Lock bipod uh, I'd, I'd 
recommend taking a look at the UTG Flex Bipod.